I'm going to show you how to install the BritBox UK app on your smart TV so you can watch classic Doctor Who. I'm going to show you how the whole BritBox Doctor Who interface looks on my TV. I'm also going to point out a classic Doctor Who story which has been reconstructed and is on BritBox UK but which isn't on DVD. And lastly, there's going to be a horrifying twist, so keep watching. Hello there, you gorgeous dewdrop, and welcome to Jason Arnop's terrifying house of obsession. It won't surprise you to learn that I'm Jason Arnop, the author of The Last Days of Jack Sparks, Ghoster, and some Doctor Who stuff. A big hello to you if you've joined us over the festive season, having been lured in by one or other or both of my videos about the Doctor Who content on BritBox. This channel is a retro variety channel, but it is dominated, especially lately, by classic Doctor Who. Thanks too to everyone who subscribed to this channel so far, because on New Year's Eve, you allowed me to finally reach my goal for 2019 of reaching 1,000 subscribers. That means I can now put advertising on this channel. Well, when the channel gets approved, I can. Adverts on this channel may not seem like such a good thing for you, but it is really in the long run because it allows me to improve this channel, make it look and sound better, a process which I've already begun thanks to my patrons over at Patreon. Have a look in the video description if you'd like to back me on a monthly basis and support this channel and get thanked potentially on YouTube videos like this. Anyway, let me show you how to install BritBox on your smart TV. Currently, you need a Samsung or a Panasonic TV in order to do this. You find BritBox in your apps market, or wherever the equivalent is, you install it as you would any other app, and then there's the activation process, which you'll already probably have experienced with YouTube. Your TV gives you a code, you type it in online, and then your existing BritBox account is synced with your TV, and you're good to go. You can literally dive in to the world of classic Doctor Who. Now that we've got BritBox installed on our smart TV, let's take a look at the Doctor Who section, which is of course the one we're interested in for the purposes of this video. And yes, I do have a bizarre array of objects along the bottom of my TV screen, don't I? Yeah, it'll take a while to explain each of those, let me tell you. The interface, the menu system is pretty much exactly the same as the iPad version and from what I've seen of the web version, they're all the same, which is fine. You want them to be consistent and you? you don't want to be confused every time you switched from one media to the other. Unfortunately, we still don't have a buy episode option at the top of this whole menu system. Yeah, this uh, Doctor Who banner at the top is not clickable and instead our first option is to watch stories by Doctor, which is okay, but as I've said before, if I was to click on Terror of the Zygons there, which is currently highlighted, then it would start playing episode one. There's no option to start playing episode three of Terror of the Zygons, for instance. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna hit the back button on my remote. So the episode, the episode menu was hidden for a while. And in my last video, uh, called Is BritBox Worth It? I made a point of, of telling you how to find this so-called secret menu when, which you could browse by episode. But now, this really bodes well for the future of BritBox and Doctor Who on BritBox because the BritBox folk, they're obviously making tweaks and changes pretty fast, which is really good because the reason this uh, episode menu was hidden before was that this orange banner was right down the bottom of the whole menu system and it didn't have that browse by episode button on it. See that blue button there? That actually tells you, you can click on this and it will take you to an episode menu. Whereas before, this orange banner was right down the bottom of the feed and it didn't have the browse by episode button on it, so you had no idea. You had to rely on YouTube videos like mine to uh, tell you. By the way, I'm pretty positive that BritBox did not act on, uh, on my recommendation in my previous video. I'm sure it was much rather people tweeting them about 100 per minute to ask, how do I find the episode menu? Yeah, that's probably what prompted them. 
But yeah, this uh, episode menu is still too far down. Why isn't it at the top? Why isn't there a, a browse by episode menu at the top? All we need is browse by doctor, browse by episode, browse by season, just all those options. Nice and uh, fast at the top so we can access them easily. I've had some really good uh, conversations in the, in the comments on, on the first two BritBox videos that I've made. Some of the best, uh, certainly in terms of volume and quality, comments that I've had on this channel. Lots of people piling in. It's really interesting to talk to people who have had BritBox in the US for, for a year or two now and uh, they're talking about the, the differences between uh, the UK and the US. And for instance, as I understand it, the uh, US version of BritBox does not have Doctor Who the movie on it. So can anyone confirm or deny that just to, to make sure I'm right in saying that? Get down in comments, let me know. Also, I'm, I'm still interested to hear about any other uh, differences between the US and the UK BritBox when it comes to Doctor Who. Yeah, all these menus are the same. Let's just remind ourselves on what the, uh, the t 10 of the best fourth Doctor stories are deemed to be. I'm not sure about Legopolis. I mean, I like Legopolis, but in the top 10? Hmm, don't think so. Having said that, I really like this idiosyncratic choice because it is in my top 10. And actually, if you want to see a, a list of my 10 favourite fourth Doctor stories in Doctor Who on DVD, then look down below because there's a link in the video description to my Amazon storefront where I've gathered my favourite 10 fourth Doctor DVD releases in the UK. So if that's of interest to you, make a note to self to head down the video description and have a look. Yeah, that's a good array of stories, isn't it? Pyramids of Mars. I mean, if Pyramids of Mars hasn't, hadn't been in there, then there would have been an uprising, wouldn't there? Yeah, we wouldn't stand for that. So as I promised at the start of this video, let me show you, first of all, the Patrick Troughton serial, as it turns out, the second Doctor serial that is on here, but is not on UK DVD. And then there's gonna be a horrifying twist that I also warned you about. But first of all, let us acknowledge that the wheel in space is here. So why is that a special thing? Well, let me tell you, you probably know this already, but in case you don't, the wheel in space is a six part serial from the end of series five of the show. All but two of the episodes have been lost to the winds of time. They, to all intents and purposes, don't exist. But episodes three and six of The Wheel in Space do exist, and you can see them here on this Lost in Time DVD box set. You, know, you can see them in the list of episodes on the back. But everything else has apparently been wiped by the BBC, missing, presumed, dead. But it's been reconstructed. Those missing episodes have been reconstructed, not by animation, a la The Power of the Daleks and The Macra Terror, which are out on DVD and Blu-ray, but by a reconstruction in the form of telesnaps, which are still images taken from the broadcast. I'm not sure why they were taken and captured from some of these broadcasts, but I'm really glad they were because they provide us with our only visual evidence of what these serials actually look like. So even though only episodes three and six of The Wheel in Space actually exist and are on DVD, it's great to have the whole reconstructed version of the serial here on BritBox. It's just a, it's, you know, it's a nice kind of USP for the, the platform because I believe this isn't available officially anywhere else. The US, of course, has had this for a while on their own version of BritBox, but it's new to us here in the UK, so hooray. Now, let me show you this twist that I've been quacking on about, and it's really not a very good twist at all. Let's play The Wheel in Space Part 1, shall we? Nothing. Nothing there at all. I'm not currently able to play Doctor Who on BritBox <laughs> through my smart TV, <laughs> despite having the app on there. And it's just so bizarre. I don't know why. I don't know why. No matter what I try to play, it doesn't matter. It could be anything. Uh, let's just try and play Tomb of the Cybermen, part one. Nothing, not even the BritBox logo. Oh no. No, nothing. 
So yeah, I just have to end up having to press the, uh, the back button to get out of it. This is pretty much the same scenario as I had on Boxing Day with my iPad and uh, can't watch anything. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, well, is your internet up to it? Yes, it is because, let me show you. Let's take a look at Netflix. There we go. Yes, Netflix is fine. And uh, just to show you, we'll watch a snippet of You Were Never Really Here, but a very quick one, so as not to upset anybody, copyright wise. You can see that's the opening. See, that's fine. It plays absolutely fine, and YouTube plays fine. What doesn't play fine is Britbox. And so, that's a real problem, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm currently in the 30 day trial zone, so at least I'm not paying for this. And I can at least watch this stuff on, um, on the web platform or on my iPad or iPhone or whatever. But if I want to watch Doctor Who on my actual TV, I have to go across the room to my DVD collection. What an outrage. <laughs> but it's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I think like anything new, there's major teething trouble all over the shop. Let's try and play the invasion of time. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm, let me have a look because the other day when I looked at the uh, thumbnails, the video thumbnails, for the invasion of time in the previous video, four of them had video thumbnails for the invasion, the uh, Patrick Trout the story, the invasion, instead of the invasion of time, and that was unfortunate. There we go. Ah, oh, horror fang rock. Would you like to see me make a video uh, about ten reasons why I love horror fang rock? If so, tell me in comments. There we go, you see the invasion of time now has the correct video thumbnails. And that's, I mean, it's unfortunate that the mistake happened in the first place, but you can tell that all this stuff hasn't just been dumped online and, and uh, left there. People are constantly working to correct faults and misspellings and probably all the, all the problems that probably happened because there was a deadline to me and, you know, sometimes with deadlines things get done a little bit faster than they otherwise should be. I'm still very positive about BritBox as a platform because I really like the fact that it's got so much Doctor Who content in one place together that you can, well, in theory, play across different, <laughs> different platforms. And I think it's it'd be good for us to focus on what is here in terms of content uh, as opposed to to what isn't here yet but you know most of the stuff we want is here and so that's really good and of course of course the fact that i can't currently play this stuff on my smart tv is really really poor and ridiculous i want to hear from you can you play can you play this stuff on your smart tv whether it's panasonic like mine or samsung let me know, get down in comments, tell me if you're having the exact same problem as this, because it's really weird. Thanks so much to my supporters at Patreon who back this channel with an ongoing monthly pledge for as little as $1 per month, but it all really helps to support this channel and help me improve this channel. And they are superb people. Now see below for links to a list of my top 10 favorite fourth doctor stories on DVD plus details of how you can hire me to assess your work as an author. Thank you so much for watching this one, and don't forget to embrace your obsessions.